Can you imagine being able to leverage big data to support managerial decisions in your large organization? Hi there, my name is Gerrit Heikoop and I'm here at the Future of Information and Communication conference talking to some of the most highly reviewed authors of the papers being presented here. And in this episode, I'm talking to Leszek Zjora from Poland who is presenting his paper where you reviewed research on this topic. Yes, uh, that's right. My main field of interest is connected with big data uh, solutions and its application in the area of management exactly. and mainly supporting managerial decisions at all levels of management. I mean at uh, strategic, tactical and operational level. All right, let's let's start with what you found. You did a big refer uh, re review on, on existing research. What, uh, what are some of the key takeaway messages from your paper? So the key message from my paper is that such solutions improve the whole uh, process of making uh, decisions. Uh, they uh, accelerate uh, the uh, same uh, decision making uh, process yes. and all its uh, stages uh, as well. So acceleration of the decision is the most important research uh, finding uh, here. Yeah, and, and what causes the acceleration? Because if you say big data, we th just think more data. But sometimes we hear we're data rich, but insights poor. So, so where does the speed come from? Yeah, the crucial is uh, the quality of information here. Well, we have, uh, let's say it, a garbage in, into the output of the system, we have garbage out. Yeah. So uh, we have to ensure the proper quality of uh, information in the input of particular system. Yeah, and I can imagine once the data sets get larger and the a variety gets bigger and the speeds get higher, the exactly that validation becomes more difficult, right? Yes, we have to use a uh, proper tools of data processing. We may use data mining tools, for example. We may use narrow artificial intelligence uh, as well. Uh, proper machine learning algorithm. We may uh, put into practice, mm, let's say, heuristic uh, approach, non-algorithmical ones and uh, so on. That's the wild field of, uh, uh, of research. All right. And if you look forward, w at this conference we're looking into the future of yeah. information <laughs> and communication. What, what exi excites you about the future, especially in the era of big data? So I see the future of uh, big uh, data now in the application of uh, narrow artificial intelligence solutions and machine learning algorithms. Right. Let, let's yes. explore that a bit. What exactly do you mean with a narrow artificial solution? So we do not have uh, for now general artificial intelligence. And yeah. uh, that's a long path uh, not to go in order to achieve it. So nowadays we have so-called narrow artificial algorithms. Yeah, that which means they can do one specific task yes. really well, and but not the entire process. Put emphasis on automation, like for example in self-driving cars and uh, so on. Exactly. Now finally, for those viewers who've never been at a FICC conference yet, can you describe what it's been like in this conference to be here today? It's a great event. I'm glad to participate here. I have an opportunity to meet people from all over the world, from over 40 countries, and to discuss our mutual research interests. And not only, it's a well um, ground for cooperation and for future cooperation. Yes. Wow. Beautiful message. Thank you very much, Lesek. And thank you very much for watching this video all thank the way to the much. end. If you're curious to learn about more innovations presented here at the conference, check out the SAI conference website or our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button right now so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. And we're looking forward to welcome you at one of our future conferences. <laughs>